All right, so if you've purchased some commercial straps to hold the key guard on, screw-on straps, uh, then you will have printed a key guard with these cutouts in them for the strap ends here. Um, and remember that whether you actually see the whole inset or whether the, there's just a hole in the top depends on how thick your key guard is. So the way you assemble this is you take each screw and you put it up through the bottom of the key guard. Put the strap end on in place and then you put the nut on top. Finger tights plenty. And repeat for all four of the holes. Struggling here a bit. Wrap the strap around underneath, bring it across, hook it on the opposite side. The last of the screws through the hole, strap around. don't really have to do this under tension. I can always loosen the strap and then tighten the strap later. But we're almost done. All right, so that it looks like this now, and I can tighten or loosen these straps depending on how, how tight I want it to fit on the, on the uh, tablet. And then it's simple enough to take the tablet and insert it between the key guard and the straps. and you're set to go. Now, um, one of the problems I have with this setup is that the buckles on the back of the straps create, a, create an uneven surface and the entire system tends to rock. Uh, so unless you're somehow mounting this up off of a flat surface, you're going to struggle with keeping this this from rocking, and that's one of the advantages of the of the clip-on straps approach. The other advantage is may or may not be able to see this well, but the head of the of the screw has to sit between the surface. I'm not seeing it very well here has to sit between the surface of the key guard and the top of the of the tablet. So there is a gap in here. So if you are striving to have the key guard sit directly down on the on the sur on the surface of the tablet and not have a gap any gaps, then again this is going to be an issue, but then so would the suction cups and the velcro uh, be issues. Uh, but the clip-on straps approach uh, addresses that and it addresses the instability aspect here.